Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Lynn, Lynn Gugi. Okay, I know you all know, but it's important to introduce um, myself. Um, I know this is the much awaited video and I have seen your questions. Of course, everyone is like, Lynn, where are you going? Lynn, unaenda wapi? Lynn, tuambie. Wow, and the support has been overwhelming. And also, ataka blatuanze. Thank you so much, Westwood Hotel. Ndiyo na filmia e video for even accepting to give me this space and you'll be seeing this space more often up and your start to tunafanyia show so thank you so much Westwood you guys you can check them out they have amazing accommodation restaurant conference rooms just make sure you check them out once again asante ni sana watu wa Westwood Hotel yeah now on to the much awaited video guys I'm a bit nervous way Nimezoea kukua na watu wapa na pale, lakini we have to do this. Where are you going? Before we get to where I'm going, I just want to say thank you so much for your overwhelming support. Honestly, I never knew. I never knew I had such an amazing, loyal fan base. I have been emotional. Ata nimehepa, nikatoka Nairobi kidogo, but I'm, I'm truly grateful to each and every one of you who has held my hand and for your comments, your emails, at a DM, Instagram, Facebook, Nikingia, all I see is positive vibes. And I know it doesn't always happen. So this is not something I take for granted. I wanna thank you from the bottom of my heart and I want to give glory to God. I'm always saying, me, I'm loyal to the giver, not the gift. God has been faithful. God is gracious. This journey, nilianza tu mimi na yeye. Yani likuanga tu ni mimi na mungu. And I'm glad bado tunaendelea mimi na mungu. So for me, everything I do, all the milestones, anything I achieve, I will always say glory goes back to God. I never want to take God's praises. He's the reason I'm sitting here even talking to you. He's the reason we've been able to do amazing stuff. And he's also the reason I was in Tuko in the first place. So as always, loyal to the giver, not the gift. Sinisawa, ayabasi. So... It's no surprise I left Tuko after four years. Eh, nakumbuka nikingia uko. You guys, you know the backstory of how I went. I, I joined Tuko, my amazing friend, my brother, the legendary Edwin Ochieng, the connection, and how he has been such a destiny helper in all this. Namsijali, sisi naidua tutaia chana. Sawa, so let that not bother you. I've seen those questions. Hatuachani, so don't worry about that. But you all know the journey of how I joined Tuko and now I'm leaving Tuko. It's the end of the road for me and the beginning of another and I think growth is inevitable to use iletam kilam tu anailewa growth is inevitable I felt like I reached a point where I needed to go out there and spread my wings and definitely uh, bring um, I'm really personal with the content I bring for me it's never about money it's never about anything it's knowing I get the opportunity in this life to sit across people and they get to share the deepest stories of themselves yeah so I love what I do I'm not stopping with what I'm doing and I just want to say thank you to Tuko for even the opportunity. Guys, we, we did amazing stuff together with my team. Edu, Devi, Yuka, Bebeto, Kevin Phillips, Chebet. We did amazing things together. And for me, that will always be one of the most wonderful chapters of my life. And I really want to say thank you to my former boss, um, Mr. Savelli Barashkov. You guys, you see him. Whenever we did the videos, he would always appear as the executive producer. That's Savelli. And I want to say thank you to that amazing human being for believing in me when I joined that place. I think I would definitely not be, not that I wouldn't be here, but he has played such a huge role in helping me sit where I'm sitting because he was always the guy that would support my ideas and be like, Lynn, do it. Let's try. I don't remember a time where he, he, he said no. 
to be able, I don't even call him boss, I call him my leader because he was so passionate also with the kind of work uh, I was putting out. Uh. So, um, Mr. Savelli, thank you so much for your amazing contribution in my career, in my dream, in helping me become Lingugi. I made a joke to my friend and I said, if I ever write a book, uh, an entire chapter would be dedicated to that man because he fought for my career and he fought for this dream of mine and he was passionate about what I was doing. So thank you so much and also to all other people in and outside Tuko who were also very helpful towards the journey. Mine is never to burn bridges, of course, but it's also important for you to know when you are serving a purposeful life, it's important to know where your journey ends and where another one begins. Sinisawa. Yeah, so I don't want to make this video long at it when the EV to Rudi EV. Yes, I have left Tuko and where I am going, Simbali, Niko Tuhapa. You see this channel where you are watching this content from this is the lingugi channel and even before i start juicy we were at 40k subscribers waking up to almost 90k subscribers for me is it's just a confirmation that i'm on the right path and the kind of content i am never scared of starting from scratch i mean started tuko talks from scratch started tales of wanjiko from scratch inspire kenya from scratch and i'm never scared of starting from scratch because i know when god gives you a gift he takes care of you and no one is you. That's your power. So for me, I'm never scared about, oh, uh, sasa nitafanya nini, because I know who the giver of this gift is. And I have never double, I've never double checked, doubted, maybe probably thought that, oh, I can't do this. I can't do this because this gift came, came from Mr. Siju Inani Nanani. No, this gift. And I want to be very intentional and deliberate when I'm saying this. This gift came from God. And funny thing is, there are people who will, who will always try and say, oh, if it was not me, there would not be Lingugi. No, that's wrong. If there was not God, there would not be a lean cookie. It's him and then me. He is the giver and then this is a gift. So even when people try to say at him, she wouldn't be where she is, come as CCC. For me, that's a bit, you know, it's off because I am where I am because God wanted me to be where I am. And many people, you know, my journey, I have not been privileged enough to come from uh, a background where how to say, me, 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 of course, no one said that anything can be easy. There's nothing easy. At a weapon you now watch here this video from, you are facing a couple of challenges. But, aliniambia kaende, kaende. So, this is it for me. This is, I've, kuna mtu kwanza aliniambia jana after nime post feature. I think I'll get the screenshot for that. Aliniambia lin. Please to ambie kwenye unaenda. Please, please, please. You're already a public figure and once you become a public figure, at you are no longer accountable to your own life. And I was like, Jesus, ndio uyu mimi sasa. I am telling you exactly where I am going and where I am going is here. I would never get here first if it was not the grace of God and second if it was not for everyone who believed in me. All the people who shared their stories with me at Tuko, I value you. They were not the easiest stories to handle, but they were some of the most impactful stories that I have ever done. So I value you. I, I appreciate you. I thank God for you. Thank you even for trusting me with your stories. The homes have entered. The tea we've even had together sometimes, you know? The people I have sat across and cried, we are still going to do that because I believe there are so many untold stories in this country that we have to um, that we have to tell and we are not even we've not even started yet. So all I ask you to do guys is to support me definitely by just subscribing at this channel and any other kind of support that you think. Uh, you are able to offer I am saying yes so feel free to do it and also pray for um, this channel I, I, I made a joke 
at the end of this year, this channel will have around 500k subscribers. I know it's overstretched, it's far, but who said we can't dare? Who said we can't dare? Show me. So um, all the contents that you guys, you know me for, we are going to do that in 10 times bigger. So don't be surprised that he, Lina Nainda Wapi. I, I have a lot of people in my email that are like, Lina, you left without telling me, telling my story. No. We are going to do it right here on this channel and on this platform. Cindy, I want to conclude, but before I do, one of my fans, and I'm doing this with her permission, I've received so many emails, but one of my supporters by the name Angela Mwaniki wrote me a very nice email and I told her, allow me to read this when I am doing my video because I felt like the words, her words, she wrote something and then she left me a poem and I felt like um, this is something that I really wanted to hear. So doing this with Angela Mwaniki's permission and she was like, dear Lynn, how are you? Congratulations on the beginning of the rest of your journey. May God guide you and bless you. I began writing this email with the intention of asking you if you miss the red chairs so that I may, I may help you buy some. Then God reminded me that when he gives us a blank canvas, we need not paint the same paintings we have painted in times past. Instead, a blank canvas is a great opportunity to start something new. All the same, please send your investor number that I may buy you some tea. And the tea was good. Thank you, Angela. So moving on to the poem. This is by Angela Mwaniki. She says, here is a poem I wrote a long time ago. Metamorphosis. I can feel myself come together from a fluid mass. I am taking shape. There is a hard shell around me. I sway and dance in the wind. At least that's what I think I'm doing. Now there is less fluid and more me. I cannot wait to see what I look like. It's dark in here. I can hear it. There is life out there. I am not alone. This hard shell won't let me out. I give up. I'll just grow up in here. I can feel myself changing. I am falling out. I am awkward and green. I think I have too many legs on this trunk of a body. I am walking. To tell you the truth, I'm not sure how I do that. I guess the fluid in my body flows in the direction I should go. And then my many legs make it happen. It's a good thing. It gives me freedom. There is a lot of green pasture around me. I can see birds peek at some of my brothers and sisters. Am I next? She hides. If I carve into a ball, will they see me? Or maybe I should bow into the pod, or dare I climb that tree. If I do so, will the ants get to me before the birds? Too many options, I will just take one and go. I need to protect myself from the elements. No more prickly thorns or grass blades that cut my skin. So no more wind pushing me this way when I want to go that way. No more sun that burns bright to scorch and burn my skin. What's the smell? Is that roasting meat I smell? Oh no, I'm roasting into the heat. Let me crawl to the nearest leaf for shade. I am so hungry. Just a little bite of this leaf before the sun comes out again. Spin, web, spin. I had no idea that I could spin a web. I like the web that's forming around my body. It does a nice job of shielding me from the elements. I think I need more web. Yes, that's much better. It's getting big and puffy. I should be happy. I am comfortable, yet I'm beginning to feel confined. I need to stop spinning the web, but I cannot. I have lost control. The web is now covering my head. I'm falling asleep. I have been asleep for a while i'm up now i need to stretch guys let's do this again i have been asleep for a while i am up now i need to stretch i'm getting too big for this space my growth is causing crack in the system i have a propensity to push through as though my life depend on, depended on it there goes my head now the rest of me needs to follow push i can see my brothers and sisters start to fly they look beautiful push is that the wings i am getting guys it's that part for me i have been asleep for a while i am up now i need to stretch so angela maniki thank you for allowing me to read your poem in public that's just one of those emails that i get and i'm like people care i want to say thank you and i also want to also encourage you whatever dream you are chasing whatever career you are on whatever your life purpose is and mark you sometimes your life purpose will force you to be alone for some time don't cave
Don't choose comfort over growth. Grow, spread your wings, bloom, just go out there, take risks. Don't worry about what anyone will say. Don't worry about what nobody will say. This is your life at the end of it. You go to bed and the only person you answer to is your creator. So take all the risks you need to take in this world to make something beautiful of yourself. I am honored to have sat across hundreds of you and for you guys trusting me with your stories. And I am more honored to know we are going to tell thousands and thousands of stories until one day. I always say, me, my aim in this life, nini, nini impact one life at a time even if my videos get one million views and only one life has been impacted that for me is enough so join me on this journey subscribe let me know guys i am a huge fan of feedback there is the email right there Beyond your email, feel free to write, send me your stories so that we can start sharing them. And I can tell you next week, this channel is going to be full of content. So stay tuned. Let's see where this journey takes us. By the grace of God, through grace, by, by faith, through grace, I know God has a lot of things planned for us. Thank you for your patience. I was not even going to announce Mapema I'm leaving, but... Um, Niliambua lean kuna tea. So, nikasema, the best thing uh, for you guys, the best thing for me to do is to let you guys hear it from me first. I love you, I value you, and I appreciate you. And may God bless the, your hustle. May he bless the work of your hands. And as we always say in this channel, no matter what your hustle is, just be proud of it. There is no shame in hard work. So asante misana, may God bless you. May he take care of you. And to anane next week, kwa Lingugi Show, Sinisawa. All right, love you guys. Bye.